We kick off with two teams fighting to get away from the relegation zone. Silver Sands in the red as the Andrew Lions. Lions captain Darico King goes on the break, but the defender is right there with him. And just what you don't want to do, bring down the player in the box. King gains that penalty for his side. And he steps up to take it himself, lines up the right foot and slots it in. Five minutes into the game, Lions are up 1-0. Lens will then double that lead through this corner kick. The keeper goes up, but it's not cleared. And Davion Clark capitalizes. It's now a 2-0 game, and that's how the first half would end. Late into the second, Silver Sands were able to pull one back. Actually, in the final minute of extra time, Chicago Scott was the man, but the score would end 2-1 to St. Andrew Lions. The night's second game featured the BDS Sports Program and Notre Dame, and the Dames are on the cars first in the 33rd minute, thanks to Zico Edmi easily converting this pass, and that's how the first half would end, 1-0 in their favour. But the Soldiers will pull things level early in the second, the 49th minute to be exact, as Jamal Chandler makes all the running, the keeper comes off the line, and Chandler taps it in to make it 1-0. Dames won't let it settle there, and Edmi was the point man. And watch as he goes through the keeper's legs. Dames back in control at 2-1. And they would get a third. The ball is to the wide left corner with the right time and the accuracy needed for the cross. And it is delivered. And who best than Edmi to finish? That's his hat trick. And the Dames are sailing comfortably at 3-1. BDF would have the final say, but it would not be enough to impact a win. Tardy keeper gives Chandler the room again to score, but Notre Dame will be the ones to claim the victory at three goals to two. In the night's featured match, it was Ellerton and Britain Sill, two of the top tier teams. And it will be Ellerton to take first dips, charging through as Rashawn Giddens in the 35th as they take the lead. It would be level in the 43rd when a mad scramble in the box saw Britain still missing two chances. But then Corey Hoyt is brought down. The referee whistle goes and he points to the penalty spot. Hoyt steps up and beats keeper Jamal Brewster to his right. It's now one all. But there was a game to win at Ellerton Met Business and watch as every man assumed their role before Gittins was handed the finishing duties. And that's his second. So to his teams. And this is where it was signed and sealed. Gittins gets his hat trick and Ellerton secure that crucial win. The final scoreline, three goals to one. And they are now second in the standings. Anne-Marie Burke, CBC Sports.